Most athletes don't uh, activate their glutes when they sprint at all. And that's the biggest muscle in your body. You have so much dormant power in your glutes that most athletes never use because they never do any exercises that really, really activate the glutes by themselves. And that's one, one exercise that it's, it's almost all glute. And the more you can get it to fire, whenever you sprint and you put that foot down the ground, that hip and that glute fires, you put a lot more force on the ground. So that's the main reason why we incorporate those into the workout. I do it on the floor, double leg, where you just put the bar across your hips and you just extend up on your shoulder. You just bridge up as high as you can, extend your hips up. That's the only time I ever put a pad on the bar because the bar, if you just go with a straight bar, it digs in pretty tough. It's the only time I ever let an athlete put a foam pad so that it protects their hips. And it's just bridging up, extending as high as you can. We try to, we try to hold it at the top for about a thousand count before we go down you know, on, on that bridge. And believe me, it's, it's one of those, the next day, you feel your, your glutes are, are super, super sore. You know, we were able to, to get some hip presses in there when we were doing the one leg hip presses, and that's as, as much an explosive movement as you'll ever do, where you're going to put a lot of strain on your hamstrings and your glutes and really teach your body to really fire at full speed, and that's something that we were trying to accomplish with that drill. Awesome.